Hello friends, welcome once again to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn the difference between relative and absolute file paths. Many students find this concept really confusing and they are unable to figure out why a file handling program that works absolutely fine on one computer gives error on some other computer. Let us try to solve this puzzle in this video. First of all, let us see what is meant by a file path. Path of a file refers to the location where the file is stored on a computer. Let us understand this with the help of an example. In this example, I go to D drive of my computer. D drive contains a folder learn with YK. It contains a folder code. In code, there is a folder files. In files, there are so many files. I go to abc1.txt, right click it. Right click again to see the properties. And in the properties, we see the location of the file. It is d colon backslash learn with yk backslash code backslash files. This is the location on the computer where this file is stored. So this is called the path of the file. Suppose we are writing the code to create the file abc1.txt. The code in Python is this one. The code in C++ is this one. And the code in PHP is this one. Here we are not discussing how is the code written in different languages. What we are focusing on is how is the file referenced in the code. In these three examples, we are referring to the file as abc1.txt. When any of these codes is executed, the file will be created in the same folder where the program is saved. Similarly, if we write similar code to read the contents of the file abc1.txt, the code will look for the file in the same folder where the code is stored. If the file is not found there, then it will cause a runtime error. It means that the location of the file and location of the code are interrelated. Such a reference to the file is called relative reference. Here relative means with respect to the code. Now, if we change the file reference from abc1.txt to d colon backslash learn with yk backslash code backslash files backslash abc1.txt, then at the time of file creation, the file will be created in this folder only. And at the time of reading data from the file, the code will look for the file in this folder only, that is, d colon backslash learn with yk backslash code backslash files. This is irrespective of the code's location. Now the code's location and the file's location are not interrelated. The code may be saved in any drive in any folder, but the file will be referenced from this particular folder only. Such a file reference, which is fixed irrespective of the code's location is called absolute reference and the path is called absolute path. Let us see another example to understand it more clearly. Consider this directory or folder structure in a computer. Remember that directory and folder are synonyms in Windows. The root directory is C colon backslash. It contains a folder A. Folder A contains folders A1 and A2. Folder A2 contains a file try.txt. If we are saving some code in the folder A2, then from that code, we can refer to the file simply as try.txt. The code will create or look for the file in the folder A2 itself. But if the code is saved in the folder A, then we cannot refer to the file try.txt simply as try.txt. If we do so, and the code tries to read the file, it will look for the file in the folder A itself. As the file is not present in A, the code will encounter a runtime error. From folder A, we can refer to the file try.txt as a2 backslash try.txt. It means that in the current folder, there is a folder A2. And in that folder, there is the file try.txt. As this reference is also related to the current folder, it is also relative reference. 
and the file path is relative path. The same reference can also be written as dot backslash a2 backslash try dot txt. Here dot means the current directory. From the folder a1, we can refer to the file try dot txt as dot dot backslash a2 backslash try dot txt. Here double dots refer to the parent directory of the current directory. Therefore, dot dot refers to the directory a. So, dot dot backslash a2 backslash try dot txt means that there is a parent directory of the current directory. In the parent directory, there is a directory a2. In that directory, there is the file try dot txt. As this reference is related to the current folder, it is also relative reference only. We can refer to try.txt from the root directory as a backslash a2 backslash try.txt or dot backslash a backslash a2 backslash try.txt. Both of these mean that in the current directory, there is a directory named a. In that directory, there is a directory a2. In a2, there is the file try.txt. So, this is also a relative reference because it is with reference to the current folder or current directory. Let us now see the absolute reference of this file. The absolute reference will be c colon backslash a backslash a2 backslash try.txt. This address means that or this reference means that there is a C drive. C drive contains the folder A. Folder A contains the folder A2. In folder A2, there is the file try.txt. This absolute reference is independent of the code location and will work from any folder in any drive on the computer which contains this directory structure. This reference is called absolute reference as it is not related to the location of the code. We can also say that the path specified is the absolute path. To summarize this all, we can say that an absolute path refers to the same fixed location, whereas a relative path refers to a location which is related to the current working directory. An absolute path always starts with the root directory in a drive, that is C drive, D drive, etc., whereas a relative path never starts with drive name. With this, I hope that the concept of absolute file path and relative file path is clear to you and you will be able to decide when to use which file path in your code. That's all for this video. Please write your feedback and queries in the comment section. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed and hit the bell icon too. Also share this video as much as you can. I will be back with something new very soon. Till then, keep learning.